Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we are back in the world of space astronomy. Picking up a bit after we left off. So, did some work. We have five filled syringes, okay? And then we have uh, resistance, climb, fly, I got fly, eat grass, and no fall, okay? Um, I was able to go find some bats and get some more stuff. You can see I got tons of spiders, squid, cow, uh, chicken, zombie, creeper, spider, witch, slime, zombie, skeleton. I actually went through all of my uh, um, bat ones and was able to get enough to get flies. So, now, here we go. Okay, ready for this? So we take these in. Okay, and then let's move this stuff over. Now, I know I can put a lot of these in the same syringe, but there's a reason I'm not going to, and I will show you guys. Okay, so if I come over here and I put in, let's go with resistance and that. All right. That gives us just a regular syringe. Now, this is where we got stuck last time. And with your guys' help, I found if I put it back into the centrifuge, this will give me there. Now, if I can now inject it, there we go. Now, I get a little bit of nausea for a few seconds, but if you notice, I've got resistance without it moving. Now, if I take a shot of my own blood right and then I put it back in here this should now have that ability in it okay so if I now stick this back in here when I die I should be good so let's go ahead and do this with a couple more of them I was I was I I did this with like eat grass or something like that in between episodes and was uh and it's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you guys that stuff. Uh because I ended up having an extra eat grass one. So um a lot of you guys helped me out in the comments. That was so awesome. Um but to be honest with you, right after I got done recording I went and looked for a video or a wiki or something, I remember, and saw that, oh, I just got to run into the centrifuge thing again. And I popped right back on and played with it. So, because if you guys remember, I st still think I have. So, well, I had all those eat grass in here. That was something I had in abundance of. All right, so there's all four of them. Let's go ahead and run them all through here. And then, like I said, if we, if we take a, a, a shot at the end, we should be able to keep these, and we have to remember to do that. Because if you die, you lose all of it. And that's kind of what happened to us before. So, and right, there's that. And I actually haven't done, tested that, but that's what everything said. Okay, so let's, uh, let's needle ourselves up. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. Now, I don't know if it puts everything in there. All right, so there's that. Get a little bit of nausea. Go ahead and take a sample. There's that. And we'll, we'll do these kind of in a protected order. So now I have night vision. Was that what that was supposed to be? Well, either way, I have it. All right, so now we'll... So now we have this one. Let's go ahead and pop this one in. Pull it out. Take ourselves a sample. Okay, good, good. And now when nausea is done, I don't remember what that one was. Let's do this one. Okay, do it again. Pull that out. All right. And one more. There's this. A little bit of nausea. Get ourselves a sample to keep. And let's go ahead and run these all through real quick. And then we 
should be good to go. And we will go out and we will test this stuff. Alright, let's get these last two done. <coughs> and I know this part right here isn't all that amazingly exciting, but I think with messing with these it should actually be pretty cool. So I, I kind and what we'll do is when, when we're done looking like testing these out, we'll um we'll look through some of the other abilities that are available. So Alright, so there's our backups of everything. We're showing resistance and night vision. Okay. Now let's take this guy off. Let's go test a few things. Alright, so first and foremost. I have creative flight. So flight is creative flight. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have night vision. I'm like, why are all these mobs out here in the middle of the day? It's nighttime. All right. Now, if you notice I'm a little hungry, if we can come down here someplace that's safe. Let's, let's just eat ourselves some grass. Leave me alone. I'm eating. All right, so night vision, resistance, flight. What was the other one? Oh, it was this. And I thought this was good for that. No fall damage. So now we have these abilities um, all the time. I'm really not a big fan of night vision. Uh, it definitely helps out with the recording side of things. But, uh, yeah. So, flight without having to worry about power. Night vision so we can see all the time. Resistance just in case we do get into a kerfuffle. And then, and apparently we had climb. So, wait, hold on. Resistance, night vision, climb, flight, no fall, and eat grass. That is six abilities from five syringes. That is weird. So the nice thing now is, is that if we decide that we want to go out on a little jaunt, a little adventure, uh, let's find a, a good place to test this. Right there, right there, right on the fridge. So, we're out adventuring. Yes, I know we can fly, but now we can just climb mountains, which is actually pretty cool. We can still jump up them like normal. Um, I'm generally not a big fan of step assist, so we'll see. And it probably might be a little bit of off-camera experimentation with some of these things. Just to kind of see, like, the climb is cool if we didn't have flight. And I really don't know what gave me night vision, because I was kind of confused when I got that. And you guys could probably tell me, maybe one of them has a dual purpose. Um, I don't know. And I, like I said, there'll have to definitely be some experimentation with that. All right, so we're good there. All right, so let's look real quick. Let's just take a little gander before we move on here. <laughs> at the genes. So, basic gene we, we know about. No fall we have. Infinite milk. I guess I can inject these into other items. So, woolly, I can inject into a sheep. And pretty much when I shear it, I get wool right back. Cow, if I inject infinite milk, the, you know, there's not that cool down. So, those are kind of cool. Um, speed, any of you guys that watch my videos know I can't handle speed. Wooly, we talked about. Eat grass, we just did. Uh, jump, flight, climb, don't really need it. Water breather, that's cool. I bet you we get that from uh, squid. Fly, we got. Um, produce stew. Once again, not one I am assuming that I injected it myself. But I don't know. Maybe I sweat gravy. Who knows? But I think we get that from mushroom, and we can plug it into a regular cow, perhaps. Uh, teleporter, that one's kind of interesting. I have this probably Enderman. Save your inventory. I have keep inventory on, so I'm not worried about that one. Swim in lava. Some of these, I think, obviously, we're going to have to get from things in the nether. 
Uh, shoot fireballs. Gas, of course. Uh, explode yourself. That seems like fun. Destroy blocks with fireballs. More hearts. Wither hit. Ender health. Throw potions. Slimy, which just sounds gross. Uh, infinity. Climb. Avoid creepers. That one just seems like something you'd want to put on there, like, to avoid, like, you know, like void tax or like, you know, dead collectors. That'd be a, a useful one. Resistance, which we have, night vision that we have, and then poisonous. So I'm assuming if something hits me, they are then poisoned. So, all right. So we figured that out. We actually completed that quest line before that was taken care of. Tools and weapons were kind of stuck because at this point it's all about going to the different places. Getting started, uh, the only thing was going to the end, which we could kind of do. And the funny part is we get an angel ring, uh, or the chance to get an angel ring. And that might be something that's kind of handy. Because then even if we die, we still have it. But this is where we kind of sit. And this is where we got to kind of work. Now, this is where I have to figure a couple things out. The first thing is, it obviously wants me to start generating power here on Earth. And I know that this is very much... Can I sleep? No. All right, the sun is coming up, though. Um, so I need to produce power here on Earth to run the machines and then everything like that. Now, I have done in prior series, uh, which had to do with space, like... Uh, what was it? Science something or other? I forgot the name of the mod pack. Anyways, where I did the space station. Uh, it's cool. It turns it into, like, a weirdly controlled skyblock, which isn't ne nearly all that fun all the time. Um, where are you at, spider? Burn. Um, anyway, so I really don't think I want to do that. So I think this is going to basically, we're going to have to expand out our place here. We've got oil right there to make fuel and whatnot. You know, and so, you know, maybe we'll make the, the church our uh, our command center. What was that over there? What was that? I saw something weird. Sorry. I just saw something weird behind this tree over here. I don't know what it was. Eh, whatever. Um, let's, uh, let, let's eat like the sheep do. And the funny part is, is that we just have... Look at that. Look at that. I'm eating grass. Now, this one won't be as helpful in the, uh, once we go to space, unless I put down dirt and make grass grow, but it'll be pretty cool. All right, so my point is, is that we need to start generating power. I'm thinking that we need to, one big thing is we need to start expanding our space station here. Uh, to use up some more of these buildings, like I said, you know, maybe the top of the church can be our our mission control, or at least the tower to mission. Oh yeah, that's right. Not use the ladder outside. I'll go right up your damn building. Look at me. Boom. I went up your building, and I went down your ladder. I'm a spider. Oh, I just gave myself the chills thinking about me being a spider. Um, but yeah, so we can do some more stuff with these. Obviously, make power generation. I think. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I get. It. Mm -hmm. A couple people were like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you're going to want to use wall climb. It gets annoying. I'm like, psh, 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 psh. it's fine. No, no, it's not. Oh, my God. I can't get through doorways. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that. so I'm thinking, you know, we could maybe use this <laughs> for our power generation uh, room. I think that'll be kind of cool. Maybe build a wall around this place, get some of this. Sky stone out of the way. It's going to fly. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan. So we do need to start getting some power in here. And I think big reactors... Oh, my God. Big reactors is the way to go. Here's the only... Okay, so one last thing I want to try and do. So if I take this... Okay, this is what you guys were talking about. 
So now this is analyzing what's in the syringe. And this will actually answer a couple questions for us. All right, so now we're at 100. So this hat, what do I, infinite milk, resistance, night vision, and climb. This is weird, so, okay. So does this now say any of that stuff? It does not. And I may have to tweak this a little bit more because this climb has got to go away. Now, here's the question. Is all of the same stuff in each one of these? Because mind you, it was in my blood system when I took, when I extracted to fill it up. If so, I'm going to have to kind of need to start over. But the cool part will be is once I find the right mixture I want, I can just make a bunch of that same syringe. So this has now eat grass, yeah, infinite milk, climb, resistance, and night vision. So I'm thinking that is how this is going to go. So the next one should have all those. Let's just jump up to this one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a bunch in this one. So um, and maybe we'll test this. Maybe we'll test one of these real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. We only got a few minutes left, so I don't know if I really want to get into a whole other thing. So will that... Oh, did it stop because I... Yeah. All right, let's, let's try something else real quick. Let's take this first one that has a few things in it we don't want, right? So if I put this in here, what is this? Basic gene. So I put this in here. No. Uh, in here, no. All right, is there another machine Let's go ahead and bring up, what is this, advanced, what is this called? What's the name of this mod? Get out of here, beat it. Uh, advanced genetics. So let's bring up advanced genetics and see if we have something that can pull some. So insulator, auto scraper. In a cloner. That's kind of cool. Combustion generator. Oh, they have their own generators. Did not know that. DNA auto splitter. That's where we have that. Transmuter. Okay. DNA remover. Might have to make one of these soon. To be able to, like, remove some of the items that we don't want. You know what I'm saying? So... All right, well, we are going to get into maybe a little bit more of this, maybe a little bit more of that, um, but we are going to get into some more things in the next episode of this climb. I may kill myself just to get rid of climb, to be dead honest with you, and then figure this out. So maybe, maybe we'll play this a little bit more, maybe we'll get into some more stuff, but I do want to get into making ourselves a big reactor, which is all this stuff here, and then... For some reason, it's making us make some more of this stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's going all the way up to turbine, so we are going to generate a decent amount of power. So, all right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. Don't forget, if you want to climb up a wall like a spider in Minecraft, head over to Amity Game. If you want to do it in the real world, uh, then you're going to have to talk to some crazy uh, guy. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm just eating my backyard. It's awesome. Alright, guys. Wait until the next episode of Space Astronomy. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!